Brits are known for their stiff upper lip, but could that all change when the Queen dies? Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee festivities in June 2022 were both spectacular and poignant. It was a fitting celebration of the monarch's 70 years on the British throne, but at the same time, it was a farewell of sorts. With the monarch's increasing age, the day will eventually come when the palace will send a coded message to the prime minister saying that London Bridge is down. This is how the world will learn of Queen Elizabeth's death. The 10 days following her passing will be an elaborate series of events leading up to the coronation of Prince Charles. Flags will immediately be flown at half-staff and muffled church bells will toll. During the four-day period in which the Queen will lie in state, Prince William and Prince Harry will briefly keep watch over their grandmother's casket in a ceremony known as the Vigil of the Princes. Most of all, England will be in a period of the deepest mourning, which is likely to rival the emotion expressed following Princess Diana's death. London may even be shut down by the influx of visitors, and social media is going to be flooded with tributes and memories of the beloved Queen. According to Reader's Digest, British TV networks will likely be reporting on the death non-stop, and comedy shows will be out of the question on the day the Queen dies. In short, the national grief will be positively historic, and for good reason. If the idea of observing a period of such deep mourning seems excessive, it's important to remember that Elizabeth was crowned as queen in 1952, at the age of 25. As a result, her father, King George VI, is a distant memory. Unlike other heads of state who have come and gone, the queen has been a constant presence in the lives of most of the world, and her death will leave a huge void. Discussing what the response to the Queen's passing will probably be like, University of New Hampshire's history professor Nicoletta Gulace told Reader's Digest, The death of the monarch, who has reigned for the entirety of most Britain's lives, and for as long as nearly everyone can remember, will be a moment of tremendous grief, unmooring people from Britain's past and from all they have ever known. Discussing the huge upheaval that people across the country will experience, Gulace explained, we must expect it to be overwhelming, and I think we are likely to see a tremendous emotional outpouring from a traditionally stoic people. As well as honoring the monarch's impressive career, the grieving process will serve a psychological purpose too. As grief expert John Frederick Wilson told The Conversation, Indeed, one of the privileges of working with grief is watching how so many clients learn and grow from the experience and emerge from their grief better equipped to deal with future losses. Another way in which grief over Queen Elizabeth's death will be historic is that there is likely to be a record-breaking influx of visitors to London. According to Politico, unprecedented crowds are expected to descend upon the capital city to pay their respects traveling from all over the world, which is likely to cause travel chaos. Per BBC News, approximately 200,000 mourners showed up when the Queen Mother passed away in 2002, and that number is expected to be considerably higher since the Queen is loved by people all over the world. But the extent of the tribute that huge numbers of you have paid my mother in the last few days has been overwhelming. While the British Prime Minister will be the first to learn of the Queen's death, the rest of us will have to wait slightly longer to find out. Thankfully, ordinary people will be told much faster than they were in the past, even if the news doesn't come immediately. For instance, in 1952, when George VI passed away, it was four hours before the BBC announced the news. Meanwhile, Princess Diana's death was confirmed within just 15 minutes. Although the BBC once had a monopoly on reporting royal deaths, when the monarch passes, the news will be released to the press association, meaning that global media outlets will all receive it simultaneously. A note will also be posted to the gates of Buckingham Palace, while the royal family's official website will confirm the sad news. It's clear that Queen Elizabeth's death will be a sad and monumental moment in history that will impact us all.